As Doctor Who's former savior turned villain continues to flush the pretty much already dead franchise down the toilet, Russell has decided to take aim at what is perhaps Doctor Who's second most iconic villain after the Master. And to many people he is, or sorry, was the most iconic villain. Russell T. Davies reveals the reasons behind change to iconic Doctor Who villain. Society has moved on. Good lord! You sanctimonious turnip! Did you actually give any rational thought to this decision at all? or has appealing to your ego and sycophants overtaken everything else these days. Showrunner wanted to avoid associating disability with evil when bringing back legendary villain Davros. Good lord, dude! Apparently, you've never talked to any of the fans you claim to be speaking for, because I have! Davros, good or bad, it didn't really matter, was an icon to them. I'd like to mention my good friend Daniel, who himself is in a wheelchair. Daniel, who refers to himself as the Scottish Davros, loved, and yes, I say loved, past tense because this character doesn't exist anymore, and unlike your faux poser being insulted on behalf of other people, Russell, Daniel was justifiably offended by your decision. And I'm sure if Daniel approached you about this directly, you just attack him on Instagram or whatever it is you spend your time attacking your customers. There'll be a link to Daniel's channel in the description consider giving him a follow so you can actually hear from the people that Russell the Poser claims to speak for. Doctor Who showrunner Russell T. Davies has revealed why he decided to make an important change to the show's iconic villain Davros. We know why! Ego! Narcissism! The usual when it comes to these people! Davros, the creator of the Daleks, debuted on the long-running BBC sci-fi series in 1975, with actor Julian Bleach taking on the role in a special scene which aired during the Children in Need telethon on Friday, 17th November, and Russell decided that Genesis of the Daleks was no longer relevant to his modern poser thinking, so he decided to remake it, because Daddy Russell knows best! Throughout Doctor Who history, the villainous character has typically appeared in a Dalek-esque support unit with significant scarring on his face, but in the new scene, this wasn't the case. The support unit was nowhere to be seen, and his face appeared unmarked. Yes, you've turned him! from a terrifying, iconic villain into Gollum! In an interview, Davies explained why he and his production team of narcissistic posers that have started to believe their own hype a bit too much chose to change Davros's appearance for the new series to prevent associating disability with evil. Oh, get over yourself, you pompous, egocentric asshat! Nobody who isn't an idiot associates disability with evil, you hapless muppet! But we might be starting to associate you with evil. This would be like looking at the 13th Doctor and assuming all women behave like hyperactive five-year-olds with brain damage! You absolute moron! We had long conversations about bringing Davros back because he's a fantastic character. So fantastic you had to change him for reasons. But time and society and culture and taste have moved on. Davies told BBC Three companion series Doctor Who Unleashed. Has it, Russell? This is a fictional character. You know what fiction is, right? It's that thing you mistake for reality. And there's a problem with the Davros of old in that he's a wheelchair user who is evil. Good Lord! And I had problems with that. Just like you have problems with 90% of your former fans. A eh, Russell? And a lot of the production team had problems with that. Yeah, you seem to have a lot of problems, especially with those dirty plebs that used to be your fans of associating disability with evil. And trust me, there's a very long tradition of this. Examples? Evidence? Nope. Okay then, go on! I'm not blaming people in the past at all. No, you just poop on your fans in the present. But the world changes, and when the world changes, Doctor Who has to change as well. He continued, change its way into television history, and at this point, that will be a good thing. So he made the choice to bring back Davros without the facial scarring and without the wheelchair, or his support unit, which functions as a wheelchair. I've got an idea. Make him look like you, Russell, because you seem to have become the franchise's real-life Davros. Chibs was a witless hack, and nobody took him seriously, but the damage you're doing to this franchise is on a whole new level. You're megalomaniacal, dude. I say this is how we see Davros now. Yes, Russell, you, not anyone else. This is what he looks like. This is 2023. This is our lens. This is our eye of sanctimonious pomposity. Things used to be black and white. Now they're not black and white anymore. Yes, Doctor Who used to be in black and white, and it was much better back then. And Davros used to look like that, and he looks like this now. And that we are absolutely standing by. Wankery! Just egocentric 
wankery. The showrunner added that it was especially important to debut this change during Children in Need, a night where issues of disability or otherness are being excluded from society come right to the front of the conversation. Yes, you did this by removing what was, for many of them, their favorite Doctor Who villain because you know what's best for them, eh, Russell? Did you get yourself a medical degree since you last left the show? Oh, wait, you don't need one because you're just so awesome. Of all the nights to make this change, I thought it was absolutely vital to do this, he said, and I'm very, very proud of the fact that we have. Oh, we know you're proud of yourself, Russell. Tell me exactly how many hours a day do you spend looking at yourself in the mirror? Davies, a lifelong fan of the BBC show, whose destruction he seems compelled to complete, previously helmed Doctor Who from 2005 to 2010, presiding over its comeback following a 16-year hiatus. Yes, his ego wouldn't let him stay away. Last year, he announced that he would be returning to the series in time for its 60th anniversary. And, once again, I told you so! And that's it for today. Come yell at me on Elon's busted Twitter, and until next time, suck it!